50 rocket launches a year, a new Starship built every month, and one day, Starship rockets launching three times a day. Elon Musk and SpaceX put on a show in Texas, outlining some pretty ambitious goals for the Starship. But the one big question we're all asking, when is this rocket going into orbit? Well, here's everything you need to know. Eventually, the sun will expand and destroy all life. So for those who really care about not just the humans, but all the life on Earth, it is very important, essential, that over the long term, that we become a multi-planet species and ultimately even go beyond the solar system and bring life with us. Elon Musk has been talking about making humans a multi-planetary species for a few years now, but the SpaceX founder took to the stage in Boca Chica, Texas to tell the world how he plans on doing it with the Starship and an ambitious production and launch cycle for the rocket that will take humans to the moon, Mars and beyond. Standing on stage with the fully stacked Starship behind him, Musk also talked about a timeline towards the first orbital launch. It's the first time Musk has updated the world on this massive rocket in about two years. The last time he showed off the Starship, the rocket was the much smaller Mark I prototype. This new presentation was essentially a rundown on all the progress the company has made since we saw that Mark I. And we got some juicy new details, as well as a look at SpaceX's vision for human spaceflight. That vision includes a fully reusable booster that launches the Starship into space before gracefully coming back down to land on Earth. It includes a second Starship docking together with the launch vehicle to refill it while in orbit. According to Musk, that refill will be essential to get the Starship out into deep space, to places like Mars. And when the Starship gets to Mars, well, SpaceX has a vision for that too. A self-sustaining city with multiple Starships descending down onto landing pads on the Martian surface. Of course, all of this is a very long way off. The furthest the Starship has flown is a few miles off the surface of Earth in its test flights, and plenty of prototypes didn't even make it that far. But SpaceX isn't deterred. Musk says a high production rate will be essential to meeting its goals for human spaceflight. That includes making one full stack, including the Starship and its booster, every month, and then potentially every three days. SpaceX also wants to increase production on its Raptor engine. Musk showed off the newly improved Raptor V2 engine, saying the company eventually plans to build seven of these engines a week, or one a day. You know, V1 looks like kind of like a Christmas tree <laughs> spaghetti pile. Um, a, lot of, a lot of fiddly bits. Um, and V2 is uh, greatly simplified while also increasing thrust at the same time. While these might be long-term goals, SpaceX also has its eyes set on something that could come much sooner, the Starship's first orbital flight. The company is still waiting for approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, but according to Musk, SpaceX has had, quote, a rough indication that that could come as soon as March. The company is also aiming to have the Starship hardware ready to fly at the same time as regulatory approval comes through, meaning we could see a Starship orbital flight in just a couple of months. From there, well, SpaceX is aiming for 50 launches this year, or an average of one launch a week. That's double the figure it projected less than a year ago. Musk also said that, quote, optimistically, the first test of orbital refilling could come towards the end of next year. Well, Musk is nothing if not optimistic, and the biggest of the big, hairy, audacious goals that he announced was a plan to launch Starships three times a day. The booster actually, even though it's gigantic, uh, will come back in about six minutes. Um, excitement guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> the ship uh, has to complete at least one orbit around Earth, and sometimes uh, maybe three orbits or, or more, uh, and each orbit is 90 minutes. So the ship uh, is probably, you know, er reusable about every uh, six, six to eight hours. And in theory, the, the booster is capable of being uh, reused every hour. Of course, it'll be a while before we're launching a Starship over breakfast, lunch and dinner. SpaceX still has to get its first rocket into orbit. But if SpaceX has its way, 
the Starship could truly become the first fully reusable transport system that turns us into a multi-planetary species. All right, so what do you think? Does this all sound like a crazy pipe dream to you or do you think it's actually kind of possible? Let me know in the comments below and while you're here, make sure you like and subscribe. We have plenty of cool space and futurism news just for you.